Man, FMG Capo, man, Capo Vision TV. Before I get this video started, y'all go subscribe to the channel. Press that like button, comment on what's going on, man. I think, man, I think my boy been finna come back, man. I think he finna come back, man. One of the Memphis goats, man. A lot of y'all be sleep on him. You know, people in Memphis ain't sleep on him. They already know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of y'all know him from, you know, the beef that he had with Yo Gotti. They had a couple, you know what I'm saying, interactions in the streets. Uh, when Young Ma first hit the streets, uh, you know, he was like the representative. Side with Gucci at one, at one time. You know, he really just a real OG in the city. But uh, Boo Dirty, man, OG Boo Dirty, it looked like my boy. Um, they said that he took off for a while, you know. I had somebody hit me in the DM because I had made a video, man, like, what Boo Dirty is. And uh, somebody had told me that he was uh, coaching, like, little league football and stuff like that. So I saluted what's going on. You know, you start getting older, start thinking about the things that really count out here, which is them kids, you know, at the end of the day. So, you know, he was doing that. But uh, I was still wondering when the music going to drop. So I finally ended up finding Boo Dirty Page. And, uh, you know, that's what he was doing. He was messing around with the football, with the youth, giving back to the community. Uh, he finna crank his record label back up. I seen that too. Um, but I still just been wondering, you know, like where is the music and what is going on? And uh, I think it's that time. Uh, I Now mind you, guess what? Boo Dirty fell back. Well, Boo Dirty fell back. Boo Dirty was smart. He was real smart too. I guess he fell it sometime when you've been in the streets so long. Uh, you've been in the streets so long, you're vetting the streets, then been through all kinds of situations. Sometimes you just feel it, you feel the energy. And uh, that young Ma Rico came, and you know, he didn't get caught up in the nonsense. Like sometimes when you're a real street nigga, man, you could just feel the presence, you could go around your guys, you could go around your homies, and you could feel how reckless they getting, and you know, how much talking they doing, and you know, how they moving, just moving reckless, like, you know, like the stuff that's going on in the streets is legal or something like that. And sometimes you would just catch that energy, be like, man, hey man, them people coming, bro. Let me fall back up off bro now for a minute. And let and, and, and let me go on and do some stuff. Go mess around with the youth and, and these football games. And get back to the community and things of that nature. Cause these boys getting a little bit too loose and out of hand. And you know he probably felt that because you remember when Bo first came on. I dropped a video. I'm like, what Boo Dirty at? And Boo Dirty never popped on the scene since you know Bo been home. And obviously it was for a reason. Sometimes a street nigga can just feel that energy on what's going on. And he know when them people on the way. So, you know, um, you know, he, fe he felt he fell back. But uh, now it's time I see on his Instagram story, uh, Boo Dirty sound like he got a banger. Like a club song, like a twerk song. Mind you, Boo Dirty said he the king of twerk songs. Now, mind you, when I be listening to Boo Dirty, I'm looking for all the street music. So I ain't never just really been on the twerk songs. So you from Memphis, y'all let me know. Is Boo Dirty the king of the twerk songs, the club songs? Y'all let me know. You know what I'm saying? Drop that down in the comments. But it looked like he just been really a lot of times Cause I'ma say maybe like two, three weeks ago, he had made some, I think he had bought a building. Um, well, not a building, he bought a space. And he said he finna, um, I think the record label, is this record label called War Over Peace? Or something like that, War and Peace, War Over Peace. I think he finna come out with the record label, but I think the whole time, 
while people been thinking he been, you know, off the scene, I've I been thinking the whole time he been loading up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists know what they mean uh, when you do music. A lot of cats might sit back and look like they done fell off and they done fell off the scene, but the whole time they got 60 videos and 250 songs in the cut. I think that's what Boo Dirty been doing. I'm thinking Boo Dirty finna give it one last push, one last go around. Y'all already a legend in the streets. Y'all already paid. Y'all already respected in the streets. He put on for a lot of stuff. So, uh, I think he finna make his, uh, I think he finna make his victory lap. I think that's what he finna do. Uh, you know, I think it's that time. I think he finna give him one last push. I'll try to get him a little bit of, uh, run up another bag about this music real quick. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited to see what's coming because I think Boo Dirty got, I know for a fact Boo Dirty got something to say. There's been a lot of stuff going on in the Memphis streets. You know he the king of that pain music too. You know what I'm saying? That real life shit though. Uh, so I'm just, you know, I'm waiting to see what Boo Dirty gonna do. Y'all think Boo Dirty gonna man, spin back around and just go crazy this time? I think it's I think it's about that time. I think Boo finna put on real quick, go on to do his little victory lap, man, and go on, sit on down, try to run up a check real quick, get back to them kids. If I'm not mistaken, one of his sons just graduated. You know, that's that's what that's the stuff that you're proud of out here. All that other shit don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know how y'all feel about Boo Dirty. Man, coming back into the fold, coming back on the scene. Um, and finna get this and finna get this shit another shot. One more go round. Victory lap, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. It's FMG.